Welcome to phase three of our lower extremity injury prevention program. This workout video will contain what you need to do for weeks five and six. So this is the last phase, so only two weeks to go and then you've completed the whole program. Again, as we did with phase two, I'm just gonna have the whole warm up and the different exercises you need to do listed here on the right side of the screen. If you need a reference on how to complete these or how to do them, um, please refer to my phase one video. I actually go through each and every single dynamic warm up, stretch, or exercise and explain to you how to perform them, especially if they aren't something that you're super familiar with. Um, but before you begin this part of the video, make sure you take about 10 or 15 minutes to complete that dynamic warm up. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to hop right into our circuit number one for phase three. This one contains four exercises. Um, each of them we're going to be performing four sets for. So I know in the past we've done about three sets. So just trying to increase the difficulty of it and make it a little bit more challenging for you since we've been doing this for four weeks already. We're going to increase it to four sets. So just keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're performing these exercises. If you do need to modify them, if sets or reps is too much or too little, just remember that we are doing four sets now instead of three. So the first workout um, we're going to be doing exercise is going to be single leg glute bridges. And we're going to be doing 10 repetitions for this on each leg. So pick whichever leg you want to do, feet on the ground, knees slightly bent, and then you're going to be laying on your back. And then we're just going to choose, I'm going to choose my right leg first. And then once you've done 10 repetitions on the one leg, switch over to the other leg and do 10 repetitions as well. Also really remember to contract those glutes and those quads as you're driving your so our second exercise now is going to be jump squats, and we're going to be doing 10 repetitions for that as well. So you get your feet about shoulder width apart here. You'll go down into a squat in a 90-90 position, and then you're going to push off as high as you can go. Really working on that power in the push off there, okay? So again, you do 10 repetitions for that. And then our third exercise is going to be single leg deadlifts, which we've done before in phase two, if you're familiar with that. So at this point in time, if you have a dumbbell, feel free to grab that, or if you have like another weighted object, something you can find around your house. Um, if not, just stick, obviously, strictly to body weight. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my left leg, and we're going to slowly bring this down. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Again, bend this knee slightly. Come up. Come down slowly. And stand back up. Once you do 10 repetitions on the one leg, you'll switch over and do them on the other side. So I'll go from this side here. Have that knee slightly bent, come down slowly, and then stand back up. And now our fourth and final exercise for circuit number one are toe taps. So this is a quick kind of cardio movement to try and get your heart rate up a little bit. So just find yourself like a short little step, um, whether that's outside or inside. If you're going up to your second floor or down into your basement, um, just find that bottom step there. And we're just going to be doing light, easy touches. You're going to be th doing 30 repetitions. So basically 15 repetitions for each side. So nice and quick taps. Get those arms moving as well. 12, 13, 14, 15. So I just did 15 here just to kind of show you how to do that. Um, but again, you'll be doing a total of 30 repetitions. So once you go through each of those exercises once, you'll go through and perform two more sets of each. Now we're going to move on to circuit number two out of three for the phase three portion of our Lark Show Me Workout. like I used in phase two. Um, again, find if you have another stable object to jump on, just make sure that it's safe to do so. If you don't have this, you can improvise and just do more jump squats or another type of exercise that'll kind of give you the same benefits as the box jump. So for this one, again, we're going to be doing three sets of 10 for this exercise. So we're going to be jumping off with both feet here. So go into a semi-squat position, push up. Really focus on trying to get a soft landing as we did before, and then you're gonna step down. Come down into a squat and then stand up fully again before you come back down. So that was our box jumps. Again, 10 repetitions for that one. Our second exercise is gonna be lateral band walks. So if you have a TheraBand with you, feel free to grab it. Um, if you don't have one, again, just stick to a strictly body weight and stay in your semi-squat position like we did before. Um, with this one, I'm gonna stick it around my knees. Again, modify it, stick it around your ankles that's more challenging. So with this one again, we're going to be doing 20 repetitions. So again, stand to the side till this is taut 
my part. So basically you're just gonna be doing 10 repetitions in each direction. Go down to that squat position. Really engage the glute med and the outside portions of your hips here and quads. So again, that was the lateral band walk. And you'll do a total of 20 repetitions for that exercise. The third one we have is burpees. We're gonna be doing eight repetitions for burpees again, three sets. So give yourself some space usual type of burpee that you would normally do. Come up, come down, jump up, jump up. If the jumping is too difficult for you, obviously you can come down and walk it out, come down, lift your hands off, and then stand back up, okay? And I know burpees may be difficult for some more than others, so again, modify this and decrease the reps to five. If that's more suitable for you, maybe four. Um, if eight isn't enough, feel free to increase it, okay? Um, the third exercise, or excuse me, the fourth exercise we're gonna be doing is single leg split squats. So again, find a bench, a step, something that you can prop your one foot up into. So for this, I'm gonna start with my left leg here. So the right leg's gonna come back and rest on my bench. And then I'm gonna kick this leg out far enough so that whenever I go into a lunge position, my knee's not going too far out forward over my toes. So again with this one, you're gonna keep your foot back there and you're just gonna kind of drop your drop your weight and drop your hips down, okay? Come into basically a single leg squat. You're gonna do 10 repetitions on this leg, then switch and do 10 repetitions on this leg. Again, make sure that knee is staying just at your toes and not too forward and not too far behind. And then our fifth and final exercise is gonna be single line hops. So I'm gonna grab my towel here. If you have your jump rope, anything else that you can use kind of as your imaginary line, something that will just kind of give you a reference point as to what you should or should not be jumping over. Um, also make sure that you try not to touch this. Make sure you're jumping high enough and far enough out that you're not jumping on top of whatever your line or rope may be. So for this one, we're gonna be doing a total of 20 repetitions. So, basically doing 10 in each direction. So I'm gonna start with my right leg here, forward and backwards. These are definitely gonna be a little bit more difficult than the double leg. So make sure you give yourself plenty of practice, getting accustomed to it. So if 20 repetitions is too much, dial it back to about 10 or 15. Once you do that on that leg, switch sides. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that would be half of what you need to do for the other leg. Next, we're going to be doing the side to side as well. Again, these are just single leg though. So I'll start on my right leg and go back and forth. And then once I've done that, I can face this way and I'll start with my left leg. So once you've gone through each of those exercises once, you'll go back through again and repeat them each two more times. So for this second circuit, you'll do each exercise for three sets. All right, so this is our final circuit, circuit number three for phase number three. This one's gonna contain four different exercises. And first off, we're gonna be starting with a single leg triple jump. So with the space behind me, I don't really have a whole lot. So I'm gonna be performing two of the jumps. So obviously make sure you include three. So you basically choose whichever leg. I'm gonna start with my right leg. And you're basically gonna be performing three consecutive jumps. So you'll jump with single leg, land. Make sure though that whenever you do land that you gain full balance before jumping into the second or third one. We wanna make sure that our goal is to try and jump as far as you can, but we also wanna make sure that you maintain proper form during this. So you'll do three jumps on one leg, so that's one set. You'll do it on the other leg, three jumps, that's one set, and then you'll do actually a total of three sets on each. So you'll be doing nine jumps total on each leg. So again, with this one, I'm gonna start with my right leg. And basically, you're just gonna jump as far as you can. Had a little hop there, see, so I didn't really gain very good balance there, but I was able to recover. So once you gain full balance, jump forward again as far as you can. And like I said, I kinda of ran out of space, so you'd wanna do one more jump then. And that would be your one set. My second exercise is skaters. We've done skaters in the past, but again, I just wanna go over them in case you might forget how to do them. The farther apart you jump in between this exercise, obviously the more difficult it'll be. It'll really challenge your balance. Um, but again, we want to make sure we're doing proper form and technique. So if you feel like you're getting a little fatigued or tired, just focus on the balance aspect more than trying to jump super far apart. So I'm going to start 
flip it over on my right leg. Go, just go back and forth. And it's not necessarily all about speed either. So again, just focus on the balance aspect of it and you'll do great with it. The third exercise we're gonna be doing is squat jump with 90 degree turn. We've done this one also in phase two, if you're familiar with it. This one though, I've increased the reps a little bit. So it's gonna sound kind of odd, but I'm gonna have you do 16 repetitions. The only reason being is I wanted it to be an even number, so we're going to do eight each way, but I wanted to increase it from phase two. So with this again, you're going to be going down into a squat position, and then you're basically going to stand up and jump and turn, and you're going to face in the opposite direction. So the goal of this, obviously, is to jump as high as you can, but also that you're fully facing in the opposite direction, and you're going to be doing a total of 16 reps, eight going each way. And then our fourth and final exercise is actually a ladder drill variation. I myself do not have a ladder at home, but if you have one that you can lay out on the grass, obviously a softer surface would be better for that, um, or in your carpet inside your basement, wherever you can do that, um, pull that out. That would be great to use. If not, you just kind of have to kind of make it up, which is what I'll be doing. But I have listed here five different variations that I would like you guys to do. So going down your ladder and coming back up is one set. I'm going to have you go through each of these exercises twice, so you'll do two sets for each. The first one we're going to be doing is double leg in each. So within each imaginary ladder that you have, if you don't have one with you, you'll basically be putting both feet in. So it'll kind of look like quick feet. So start back here. Again, if you don't have a ladder, try and gauge about 10 yards or so to give you a decent amount of space going up and down a ladder. So again, with double leg in each, each hot, you're going to basically just do quick feet. So again, two feet in each ladder as you move up. The second one we're going to be doing is single leg in each. So it's almost like you're running at like a jog type pace. So it'll just alternate one foot in each one. So again, it's kind of like quick feet, but you're not doing two in each. And then our third one is side shuffles. And then our fourth one is double leg hops. And then following that, I'll do single leg hops. And then again, this is a single leg. So I'll start with my right leg on this one. I'll go down and back on my right leg. And then I'll come back and I'll go down and back on my left leg. So that was our completed circuit number three. Again, I went through each of those exercises once for you. You'll want to go through and complete each of those two more times, except for the ladder drill. You'd only need to complete that circuit one more time with those five exercises. So again, with the if you decide you want to do option number two for our core workout, follow along with this portion of the video. This one also contains four exercises, all of which we're going to be doing three sets for as well. So the first exercise is going to be flutter kicks. You want to lay flat on your back for this one, arms out to the side, and you're just going to kick your feet back and forth like this. About six inches off the ground. We don't want them up super high here. We really want to engage that core as best we can. Small little scissor kicks like this. And we're going to be doing for that exercise 30 repetitions. So basically 15 for each leg, but you can just count up to 30 for that. The second exercise is going to be mountain climbers. We're going to be doing 30 repetitions for that exercise as well. Just as a reminder, climbers as we do here if you want a little variation to it you can do drive the knee to the opposite elbow and that way so once you've done 30 repetitions for that we'll move on to the third exercise which is straight leg sit-ups we're doing 20 repetitions for this one you can just cross your arms to the front this one can be strictly body weight or again add in your dumbbell to make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. And then our fourth and final exercise is planks. Three sets of 30 seconds for each of the four variations that we have here. So the first one is just your standard plank. Hold 
it for 30 seconds. Remembering all about good form for this one. Secondly, we're going to be doing shoulder taps. So you're going to be starting out in a push-up position, feet about shoulder width apart again, and you're just going to bring up and tap your shoulder. Try and keep those hips level as well. Keep them from rocking too far to each side. You want to try and stay as level as possible. Okay? After doing 30 seconds of the shoulder taps, then we're going to be going over and doing side planks reach throughs. So for this one, I'm going to go on the side here so you can see a little bit better. So basically, you're going to be starting here and you're going to curl through. Come up, curl through. 30 seconds of that, and then you switch sides. Go up on the side, come through. And these can be slow movements. They don't need to be quick ones like you're jerking really fast. Take your time and go through it. All right, those were our four exercises for the core option number two. All right, and if you decided you wanted to do the third option for our core workout, follow along with this portion again of the video. We're gonna start out with bicycles and then follow along with three other exercises. So with this one, we're gonna be doing 30 repetitions, total 15 on each side. So if you're familiar with bicycles, start out in a position with your knees bent like this. And basically what you're gonna be doing is I'm gonna extend my left leg and rotate to the left as well, kind of bringing that right elbow across. So we're gonna rotate and come back. Once you've done your 30 repetitions of the bicycles, we're going to move on to planks. Again, I'm sorry if you're not a huge fan of planks. Um, modify these however you would like, but they're very, very good exercises overall. Um, so we're going to start with just our standard plank again, 30 seconds. Hold. Okay. And then we're going to move on to plank jacks. These involve a little bit of coordination, so try your best. If there's something that you can't really do, substitute it for shoulder taps, some other type of variation but basically you're going to be doing okay, so you're going to involve the shoulder taps part but you're also going to be moving your legs out to the side at the same time so i'll do it from this angle and then i'll show you a different one okay so that was plank jacks so if you kind of see from the side maybe a little bit better okay so basically you're going to be kicking your feet out and doing a shoulder tap at the same time so do 30 seconds of that, and then we have our crunches, basically. Start on your side, bring your knees up to your chest and your elbow down to your knees as well. 30 seconds of these. And once you've done that, we'll switch sides. Go over here. And then do this one. Oh, sorry. Do this one as well. Okay. Our third exercise. Basically, you're going to lay flat here on the ground, and you're going to bring both legs up together this time as you bring your torso, chest back up as well. Try and keep those knees as straight as possible. I know sometimes it's hard. You're going to have to bend them a little bit, but um, the main focus is trying to keep them extended out as far as possible, really helping to engage that core. And then our fourth and final exercise, leg raises. Um, so this one we're going to be doing 15 repetitions for. Same concept. Just bring those legs up, slowly lowering them back down. Keep them together as best as possible and knees straight as much as possible. Okay, so that is the four exercises for our circuit number three, or option number three, excuse me, for the core workout if you decide you want to do that one. Now that we've finished a majority of our workout, the only thing we have left is our cool down. So spend out 15 to 20 minutes going through the stretches that I have here listed on the right side of the screen. If you need a reference on how to go through some of these exercises, if you aren't super familiar with them, reference my phase one video, go to the end of that video, and I will go through each of those stretches for you and show you how to do them. For some of you, maybe I just have it called a different thing than what you're used to, so Maybe you just need a little refresher, or once you realize what the stretch actually is, you know how to do it yourself. But again, perform each one for three sets of 30 to 45 seconds on each leg. 
once you've done so, then you've completed our phase three portion of the workout. Um, thanks again for doing it and hope you guys have a good rest of your day.